Facebook, what's going on? Your man rough too. Um, this is a quick touch base, right? In reference to what, what you see us doing as a group uh, with this uh, go go round table, right? Um, so just an appeal, just some clarity for people that are seeing it. Like I say, the round table was established uh, 2006, right? This is when we're doing a lot of underground art and things like that. So it's been here. And the intention of it was what, what it was then, what it is now, right? So uh, I just want to make it clear to our whole uh, DMV culture, uh, music, and all the artists, all the um, fans that have been loyal to it. You know, I've been trying to get the least of the world, and uh, I'll get to, um, I actually went to school with Janet. So I'm, I'm trying to do something that, and the team is, you know, not me, right? Because again, I, as I said, this thing was inspired in 06 uh, by my associations with uh, Donald Doc Spencer and uh, Milton Freeman. And um, we just very blessed at this point, right? To be growing as a team because the term go-go round table, right? Guys, brothers and sisters, that's what it is, right? That's why I said, I mentioned Lisa the World, um, you know, uh, we got dog coming up because, see, there are so many people, men and women, who've made this genre what it is from the time of its inception, of course, you know, with Chuck Brown. But a lot of souls and a lot of blood, sweat, and tears has gone into this culture, right? So I'm trying to say this. This is appeal is so you can understand that um, it's a team thing. We're blessed now to have Rob Marshall, you know, Woody Woods, and... um go go john and you know um of course mick and uh and doc you know and uh, we got boo jones and and elwood jones the thing is we, we want to see it's not about that getting smaller it's about getting bigger i've reached out to heartbeat and other people because the point is um we have to get along man i mean that's, that's the one thing I, i'm telling you my thing is let's show the world that we can get along you know what i mean and we can actually work together and at the ages we're at now if we don't understand that you know it's just crazy so my thing is we want to take it we want to the people that are still alive because we are we, we're in the ages now we're talking like that you know what I'm saying folks that are still here we're trying to create a library right of paying homage to the people of the past right of the present time and then as many of the future torchbearers as we can you see what i'm saying understand something this is not us trying to be cool ain't nobody trying to shine if i reached out to you for an interview right and you decline i can dig it you know what i mean whatever your reasons are what they are but we're gonna keep going because we understand that time is waiting for nobody and the I have grandkids, right? How are my grandchildren ever going to understand truly, right? The true origins of the culture they're growing up in, you know, the music, the new balance, the, the, the rich history we have, if it's not documented, you know? And so that's what we're doing as a team. And we're going to continue to just roll on over haters because you're either hating or joining because the point is, it's for the culture you know it, it's it's for the genre it's not about nobody trying to be the man and unfortunately i'm standing straight up and telling you that's the problem you know nobody wants to unify everybody wants to be the guy that pioneered i've never said i created the go-go round table i've told people from day one that from high, from associating and being around go-go mickey and doc I said, man, somebody's got to really pay homage to this thing without lusting for the money, you know, without doing it, trying to, you know, it's just ridiculous, man. If we if we continue to do this right, which we're not, because Rough and Two Productions is going to make sure that somebody, right, wasn't concerned with the bread and, and this and that, and just out of love, man, wanted to pay homage, man, you know what I'm saying? to pleasure and, and and i mean and bands that's why i went that's why i couldn't wait to do rob now you know what i mean guest band 
They, they these people, man. I'm trying to go back. I'm telling you, man. Quality band. Where 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 they stories at? See, because that's what I'm saying. Everybody want to hog the attention, but whether they were short lived runs, every band from the past has had a role in Go Go being what it is. You know what I mean? So I'm saying. I'm going to continue to reach out to all the various, I so many artists, man, that deserve respect, have played for these bands that you love in the past, but you only know the lead rapper or the Congo player or maybe a trumpet or sax player, but it's, all, it's other people that made that band. They don't get no love and no respect, but they will here. You understand? At the round table. So the round table is one of those big, big tables that should have Anywhere from 50, you know what I'm saying? People at the table. So I just wanted to let y'all know what's happening, man, out of my own mouth. Because I'm not playing with it, man. I'm 53 years old. And I've traveled the whole walk. Hustler. Uh, end up getting punished. At least I didn't get killed. Addict, right? That came with it. Then clean. Businessman. Hold on. I'm saying I've done the whole thing. By God's help and love so this right here is just part of my whole listen the city of lions john they ain't ready for that i'm right i'm writing a, a book right now another one that i had the maryland boys done i got a joan coming called the ghost of montello and i promise you when that ghost of montello hit man huh i'm telling dc what you say i spent 27 years there so see i, I gotta shut them down man because i'm seeing the shade rooms you know cats don't understand I'm alive uh, by God's permission. And he made it so I spent 15 years in the mighty sea pleasant. And then he moved me to this cold belly of the beast over there off 11th and I Street. And I lived in Montana. And I lived in all these other places. And I'm telling it because I don't care what y'all talking about. About Man, listen. It's more than one all-city dude around there. And it mad at me because why? I'm telling it to y'all face today, man. Why? Because I went to a D.C. high school. I went to elementary in Mount Pleasant. And I'm from Maryland. And I'm doing it. And I'm going to keep doing it. You see what I'm saying? Because it's the reason why the Lord had me travel all them circles. It was for this mission, man. You know what I'm saying? I can tell the whole program because I lived it, man. So I just want to get raw with you for a minute because this city... Is an awesome top of the, the, the nucleus. Washington, I said it before. DC is the heartbeat of the DC metro area. Like Atlanta, right? Is the heartbeat of the metro area. People saying they from Atlanta or live in Atlanta, but they don't live there. I lived in the city of Atlanta first before I moved to the suburbs. So I'm just trying to pay homage, man. And Slim, trust me, I tell you. There's no arrogance, you know? Like my mother said, once you become a knower, you telling it like it is. You ain't, I ain't no doubt in this. I'm telling you, when I see the lines hit, man, it's all going to come out. I'm going I'm going I'm going I'm going to break them off cuz it's my gift, man. So like I say, I'm on a team of just wonderful guys, man, who understand just like me. That's why we together. Man, we 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 trying to make a legacy thing for the children because if we don't do that it's gonna always be one person trying to say their narrative we don't want your narrative we want the narrative of the people who built the genre you know what i mean they the only ones that can tell it so you know and be ready we got joan coming out called take a take a little ride through the city with um the big cat from wilson the big cat jerome kennedy stamp can't say nothing southeast born and bred Went to Wilson High School, played quarterback, been to every possible go-go, rare essence uh, maniac back in the day. You know what I'm saying? He got a segment coming from the round table, and he going to take you all through all kinds of stuff. So I'm telling you, man, <laughs> I'm just saying this one time, because I'm not coming back on here no more. I'm reaching out to everybody, and the ones who don't go, you can pretend you ain't get the memo. You can act like you ain't hurt. I know you have, because I'm. I, I probably didn't dealt with you over the years. See, so I'm saying we know what it is. And if you tell us no, then let it be no forever. Then don't let it be no and try to fake the jig, man. If you don't mess with us for whatever your reason is, then do what you do. Your boy rough too, man. I, I, that's my statement right here. So I'm gonna keep reaching out 
to the ones who I think were pioneers and just, you know, but if you, if your head big and you feel like, you know, you're above everything, then don't come because we don't want you. I'm speaking for the whole, I'm standing right there and telling you, your energy not needed. Boy rough too, man, gone.